Hey everyone, it's Todd from AdHawk, and today we're going to go over how to deep dive into your Facebook ads to really check out the reports. So let's go into one of our campaigns. And then next, to check out the reports, we need to go to the left-hand side and click on Reports. Now here you'll see a little bit more detailed information. Um, so you can kind of decide what you want to see. So you want to click Customize Columns. And here are a bunch of different things, and I'll try to go over as many of them as I can. So reach. Reach is one that I really like to look at. It's the number of people your ad was served to. It's a little bit different than impressions, which is the number of times your ad was served. So again, impressions are the number of times your ad was served, and reach is the number of people your ad was served to. I really like looking at that. I like to know how many eyeballs and how many unique eyeballs saw our ad. The other two I would recommend are actions and people taking action. So actions are, you can think of it like conversions. When you set up a campaign, you picked an objective, um, and whatever that objective was, you want to know how many actions were taken on that. So that's the number of actions, and that's the number of people that took that action. Cost, I always want to know the total amount that I spent. Um, in case I get some page likes, or maybe the objective was page likes, I want to know exactly how many page likes Again, feel free to go through these and customize the columns any way you want for each campaign. Let's keep going down. Um, again, there's so many of them. If you're doing app installs, feel free to click on app installs. Their app uses, their app engagement. And they're organized really nicely here on the side. You can tell as I'm scrolling down, these are scrolling down. Now, I want to go down a little bit further to clicks. I want to see how many clicks. I also want to see how many unique clicks. I want to see the click-through rate. So that's the number of clicks divided by the impressions the unique click-through rate, and the cost per click. So how much am I spending per click? And as you guys noticed, as you hover over this, you have a little definition on the right-hand side. So if you want, feel free to go through all of them and you know read all the definitions and pick what works best for you. I also like knowing the campaign name just so I can keep myself organized. Now you can click Apply. And as you can see, here are all my different columns. You can scroll to the right and see all the other columns that I have. Now the cool thing here, Oh, and I went back on my screen. I'm sorry about that. Um, the cool thing here is that you can actually break down these columns by a little bit more granular things. So I can break it down by age. So I can see frequency by age. I can see frequency by gender. You can see clicks by gender. So customized columns allows you to add the data metrics. Breakdown allows you to break down those metrics with a bunch of different variables. Another one I really like to look at as well is day of the week. So I like to know, you know, what days of the week are do best for me and overlay that with gender. Uh, thanks so much and be sure to check out tryadhoc.com for tools to simplify your online advertising.